So when it does, I'll right. push the red button. Yep. Okay, we're recording. One other context for soil. <coughs> this is an old story. And all the best teachers have always used stories because stories capture us. They draw us in. So the story was spoken to a group of people who understood agriculture. They understood crops, planting, harvesting. It was a part of their culture. And so the storyteller said there was a man who went out to sow some seed. Now this, was, this predated the time when we have specialized equipment that puts a seed in exactly the right place. We went back to a time when people broadcasted the seeds. Have a bag, have some seed in the bag, and then just sling it out there. I've done that in class before. Janitors hate that. Uh, <laughs> students are a little nervous, too, because you've got projectiles flying at you. I won't guarantee that won't happen during the semester, but uh, at least you've been forewarned. I'll be glad to answer any phone that, that rings. Uh, <laughs> went out to sow some seed. The story goes like this. Some of the seed fell on the road. Birds came along and ate it up. Some of the seed fell on some shallow soil. So what happened next? Well, it got a little bit of rain. Seed germinated, started to grow. Soil shallow. Not much water there, not much root zone there. The wind started to blow. The sun came out, parched it, dried it up, died. Some of the seed fell on weedy soil, weedy ground. There was a lot of competition. The plant started growing, <coughs> grew relatively well, but then the weeds, for us, it would be bindweed, Johnson grass, pigweed, kosher. These weeds started growing up around it, <coughs> competing with the plant for water, for nutrients, for light. They choked it. It couldn't grow, it couldn't bear any fruit, it couldn't produce any seed. But some of the seed fell on good soil. So that soil produced 30, 60, 100 times as much as was sown. And then there's other applications of that. Uh, the storyteller went on to put a, a specific application on that to the heart and soul and spirit of a man. I'm going to take a shift, though, and talk about it from this perspective. What made the difference? Was it the sower? Was it the seed? What made the difference? Soil. People throughout history have recognized differences in productivity of soil. There's a, oh, it's about a 2,000, 3,000 year old altar in China that they found. That the west side of the altar is yellow. Because the Lust Plateau in China is in the western part. The southern part of that altar is red because all the red soils are in the southern part of China. The north side of it is black because the dark colored soils are on the, in the north of China and the east side of it is gray because the poorly drained soils are in the east of China. So people have been classifying and talking about soils and understanding differences in those for millennia. And so we're here at a point to try and understand some of that perspective. Turn that off. Now, 